We spent two weeks camped in the Canyon of the Ancients, just outside of Cortez, Colorado. When we arrived at our campsite, it was a bit littered with trash, but a bit of time and a trash bag, we were able to clean up the site for our stay. Our camp was positioned along the cliffs with a fantastic view of Sleeping Oot Mountain, which while we were there received a large amount of new snow. This was also a time that I enjoyed using my zoom lens for my camera. I'm still getting the hang of it, but I'm amazed by how much more clear the pictures are from it rather than my phone. The road to access our campsite was very rutted and the freeze thaw cycles along with the snow only made the road worse, which ultimately resulted in us leaving on a Friday after work rather than our traditional move day on Saturday. Colorado greeted us with cooler temperatures and snow. The first real snow we encountered in the camper since we started. Our time spent in this area was filled with exploring Mesa Verde National Park, taking hikes in the Canyon of the Ancient, and a trip to Hovenweep National Monument. We actually went to go explore Mesa Verde National Park the day after we received a significant amount of snow, which I think changed the landscape quite significantly and made for a very beautiful backdrop. Unfortunately, during this time of year, the ranger guided tours were not in place. So we just did the self-guided tours and hikes that we could, um, but we do look forward to going back to visit and take one of those ranger guided tours, especially to the Cliff Palace. Would you like me to take Ella back? Are you kidding? <laughs> then you don't have to. Our trip to Hovenweep National Monument was another highlight of our stay in the Cortez area. Uh, there's really one main hiking trail that goes to the castle and all of the ruins and it, it was actually quite a lovely hike and we were thrilled that Ella was able to go with us. Funny enough, while it wasn't super warm, we were really exposed so it felt very warm during our hike. Uh, the amount of runes that were available to explore and kind of see up close in this area was pretty amazing and how well preserved they were was really awesome to see. There's a trail um, down in the canyon that continues on to some of the other ruins. Oh, cool. 
but it's like a 12 hour trail. Not today. Not without water either. There's the, I think, trail. <laughs> what? Our time flew while we stayed here just outside of Cortez and before we knew it, it was time for us to actually head further east. <laughs> 